Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and if you love big, bold, hoppy IPAs, and also love the complexities of a bold, big barley wine, then Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot should always be right up your alley. So today we're going to be checking out Sierra Nevada's 2023 variant of their Bigfoot Barley Wine. God, I love that beer. Let's check this out. This beer comes in at a 9.6% ABV. A 90 IBUs, it gets an average rating on untapped of 4.15. Extreme in the 80s and a force of flavor today, Bigfoot is a timeless beast of a beer forever tracked for its enormous malt body and sheer hop intensity, drink fresh or cellar each year's expedition to unleash a world of new flavors over time. Okay, so let's check out Sierra Nevada's 23 Barley Wine. Ooh, you know, it's still got that maltiness to it. It's not as hoppy as I remember the aromatics being. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, this is not a barley wine, this is basically an IPA. That's just awesome with malt. But check out that color. It is just so dark amber like reddish looking, a light cackiness to it. The head looks so great. And like I was hinting to, the aromatics is more toward the malter side. I remember it actually smelling very hoppy, but hmm, I know every year has been basically an IPA. That's a good beer. Actually, this one's a little bit, a little bit less uh, IPA. A lot of toffee, lot of toffee flavor in this beer, roasty notes really come out the back end. Um, barley wines are known to be sweet, and this is more of the bittering end, kind of the darker malts. It tastes like more like crumbly dark toffee. In fact, actually, this tastes a little bit less of an IPA hoppiness. There is a lot of bitterness on the back end, but there's actually this complimenting hoppy back end bitterness that makes me think of like dark chocolate and toffee and, and that bitterness you get with roasted malts. It's actually very well balanced in that sense. I remember this years back and I have a plethora of these beers. I believe I have more than 10 years of a variant of this aging. So I love these beers. Sierra Nevada has a great lineup of beers that are fantastic to begin aging beers with. And the Bigfoot series is one of the original people started buying and aging because of the price point is so cheap. How many beers do you know that you can buy for basically $3 and under, that's almost 10%? I don't know a whole lot of those. Ones that are especially barley ones too. There are some out there that are basically malt liquor and sure, they taste decent enough to drink and buy and I buy them all the time. But there's something about a barley wine and Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot. It's just extra special. If there was a category of barley wines that were called the Pacific Northwest barley wines, just like there are of IPAs, Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot is the grandfather of them all. But this particular year, I think, is a little bit more of a toffee malt flavor, a little bit less hoppy. Granted, there's tons of bitterness and hoppiness to this beer. Like I said, it tastes like an IPA and a barley wine, but it is fantastic. So Sierra Nevada's 2023 variant of their Bigfoot barley wine style ale. Is it a must pick up? 
if you're a hophead slash craft beer enthusiast, I say yes, because this is just an amazing, amazing beer that they release every, every year. It's like a, just a go-to thing. You just love seeing it when it's on the shelf. You just basically can't help but buy a couple bottles of this to have in your fridge. It's a fantastic nightcap if you love IPAs. It's a fantastic slow sipper by a fire, or if you're watching a movie or a TV show snuggled up in a blanket, it's great to sip on, it's great to age. If you're wanting to dip your toe into aging beers and wanting to see how well temperature storage and all those different things can do to a different beer, Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot Barley Wine is one of those beers that really helps because you have so many things of one it's very hoppy and bittery so you're going to know what happens to a hoppy bitter beer it's full of malts you're going to know what happens to a complex malt three it's cheap enough that you can go and buy a four pack and have one either once every three months once every six months once a year it doesn't matter you're going to be able to figure out all of the wonderful different complexities and probably remember it and still have a fantastic time so sierra nevada's 2023 Bigfoot Barley Wine Style Ale. I love them. I highly recommend picking them up, whether you're an expert, whether you're a novice, whatever. If you love craft beer, pick one up. Even if you don't like hoppy beers, try something you don't like. This, I like. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit like and subscribe, follow me on all my social media stuff. The links for those will be at the very bottom of the description. Um, what's a beer that you like to age? Have you ever gotten to try Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot Barley Wine? I know it's basically distributed nationwide, so it's one of the biggest distributed barley wines out there. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys.